Hi, welcome back to Auto Review. My name is Pratik, and as you can see today, we have our very first Mercedes-Benz uh, for review. And we start with the most beautiful, I would say, uh, Grand Coupe that you can get at the moment, uh, the SL500. Um, yes, there is the SL350, which is the entry level, entry level for the Mercedes SL class. And we have two engines above that, the SL63 AMG and the SL65 AMG. However, this car is really, really nice to drive. Uh, I enjoyed it for the whole weekend. Um, first of all, I have to apologize again. It's extremely hot today, even worse than before. It's 48 and a half degrees outside in the shade. Uh, here I have at least some wind and a bit of protection from the sun. So, what can I tell you about this car? Now, this one is the SL500, uh, 4.7 liter, 435 horsepower, uh, 700 newton meters of torque from this V8 between 1,800 to 3,500 RPM, 0 to 100 in 4.6 seconds, and top speed of 250 km h electronically uh, limited. Um, best thing about this car, as you might know, is not only is it a coupe or a grown coupe, but at the same time it's a convertible, as this roof falls down into the trunk. I'll show it to you later. So let me give you some more details, and then we go on the road. Right, just a bit more about the design before we go. Um, this car actually weighs 1,785 kilograms, which sounds a lot. However, compared to the previous SL, uh, it lost 125 kilograms. So that's quite a lot because uh, there's a lot of use of aluminum here. Um, the vents on the side, actually, uh, they are not actually, they have no use. There's just a homage for the original SL uh, Gullwing, which had those to just get the hot air from the brakes out. Uh, the hood, the, the th same thing about the, the one on top, actually only one of them is functional to get air inside, the other one is actually just the decoy to make it look uh, uh, sane. Uh, we have the blinkers in the mirrors with the, um, how you call it, blind spot assistant, which is, works really, really well. Then keyless entry, you don't have to uh, put the key in, you don't have to lock it, you just lock it with the touch field here, or it unlocks when you basically uh, open the door. And this one, as you can see, uh, looks a bit different than from the original or from the stock SL500, as this one has the optional um, AMG package, which is the bumper, the side skirts, rear bumper, as well as the 19-inch uh, alloy wheels. So let's hop inside, and I'll give you a bit more details there. Okay, so the SL from inside. Um, it's one of the most beautiful cars I have been driving. Uh, it's really amazing quality or build quality. Uh, everything is uh, leather. This one has the optional AMG pack, as I said, with carbon fiber inlays. Um, it looks really amazing. So you have this two-tone uh, leather in black and uh, Bordeaux red. Um, you have the Harman Kardon uh, sound system, which is really, really good. Very deep bass, uh, really nice. Uh, steering wheel with the shift pedals. Shift pedals, actually, you can feel the difference well because this one has a little uh, bubble, this one has a little hole uh, in it, so you can even feel which one is up and down. Uh, as a, they steer towards, uh, with the steering wheel, which is good, so they're not, co uh, not connected to the center console. Uh, electronically, you can uh, bring it back and forth, up and down, which is nice. Uh, you have a electronic parking brake. The shift knob is very, very small, but kind of fun uh, funny. Uh, you can change between echo, um, sport and manual. We have a sport and comfort uh, button. Uh, for the suspension, we have the echo button. Um, not quite sure what changes when you use the echo button because uh, even though Mercedes says this car should have a fuel consumption of 10.8 on 100 in combined, uh, I had now in 357 kilometers 15.6. Obviously, I was trying it out, so uh, I did a highway uh, run which was around 10.5, 10.9 liters, but this is really highway constant speed. So obviously uh, here in Dubai, which 47 degrees at the moment, it's impossible to reach this uh, fuel consumption um, numbers. Then we have heated seats. We don't use it here. However, we have cool seats, all in three settings. And this one comes with the optional headrest uh, neck uh, heater uh, system. Uh, really, really nice if you live in a cold environment and you want to drive open uh, in the winter months or when it's already a bit chilly, uh, you can still enjoy it. Uh, and uh, your neck will be heated, so that's really nice. Um, traction control, uh, parking sensors on off, and then everything for the passenger. Now in the doors, we have the controls for the seats. Um, everything works really well. One point that I would like to criticize is that the headrest actually cannot move to the front. I was not able to find a setting that basically moves it to the front, so basically if you want to rest your head, you kind of 
uh, it's not in a nice position so if you could bring it forward it would be much nicer um, then um, screen really really clear very good quality however one thing that was a bit weird for me and I was not able to actually uh, figure it out uh, this one is all the time in the north setting so it shows north and basically if you drive in the wrong direction wrong direction um, you might go this way and the navigation shows you going down so this is really really weird uh, which should be actually turning towards where you're driving uh, then the clock on the top the analog clock is a nice feature it's optional as well however I do not really like it it just doesn't fit the theme very much because the a minute and our hand uh, look very chubby, very fatty, and that doesn't fit the sportiness of the car at all. Then we have this uh, Vario sunroof, uh, which I don't know the expression exactly, but uh, what this does is basically now it actually is kind of a dark bluish, and if you press that button, it becomes visible. So you uh, look through, transparent. So which is really nice. Mercedes had that when they were working on the Maybach before uh, where you could basically uh, make it milky this one is actually transparent or kind of dark bluish um, which is really nice it still lets light through so it's not completely dark however it really helps if you're in a, in a hot environment like here then um, we have the uh, glove box it was not really really big this one comes now with a um, optional six uh, CD changer uh, we have space in the doors uh, we have two cup holders this one is the remote control for the roof, so I'm going to open it in a moment as well, as well as the wind shot behind to not have as much uh, circulation of the wind. Uh, I was driving in different uh, scenarios, so basically I was driving with the wind shot down, up to 80 was fine even uh, though the windows were down, then it started to have a lot of wind. Um, then I was driving with the windows up, so that was fine until 100. Everything above 100 without the wind shot, it's really, really a lot of uh, wind uh, um, disturbance within the cabin of the car. So uh, you really have to put the windshot up and everything above 120, 130, even though there's a windshot, it's still going to blow too much. Um, what else? The menu system is uh, kind of with a snob here, left and right, up and down, uh, press. Um, what I would like to criticize as well is the screen, even though it's very good and it works everything very, very nice. I found myself trying to touch that screen and <laughs> obviously it's not a touch screen that might make it a bit easier to use for the future if Mercedes would upgrade the system or with an XSL with a facelift if that would become a touchscreen because it's just faster. On the same note the touchscreen or the, the screen is a little bit small uh, for today's uh, application and all the things that we are using so I guess you would have to make it a little bit bigger for next time or at least an optional feature that you can make it bigger. Uh, other than that what I really like is this uh, Mercedes-Benz what they now put in all the new models with the uh, old school writing, Mercedes-Benz, you find it in S-Class as well. What else do we have? Um, obviously it's a two-seater, however we have some space in the back and uh, there is an electronic uh, button here that actually moves the engine or the engine moves the electric seats to the front. There's a compartment behind the driver that you can open and close. It's approximately this big. I'll make a picture of it and show it to you. However, the problem is that the seat takes a really, really long time because it's electric. And yesterday when I was sitting outside and I wanted to get to it, so it took really like half a minute or more from the moment moved, I put my stuff inside and in the moment it went back, it's too hot for that. So if it would be a bit faster, it would be nicer. However, it's still good that they have it. Uh, behind the passenger seat, there's, uh, we don't have this compartment. Okay, so that's about the interior. Now let me show you the boot and all this function and system, how it works, and then we finally hit the road. All right, SL500 from the back or SL from the back. Uh, as you can see, the lights, as I said, I usually, I not usually, I don't like if it's orange, so this one is beautiful because it's just red and white. Perfect. SL500 batch on the left, nothing on the right, Mercedes star, we have a third brake light. On the bottom, we have the reverse light, very, very bright LEDs. Um, double exhaust, left and right. And this one has a function as well that you can kick the boot and it opens, as you can see which is really nice if you come with stuff uh, in, your, uh, in your hands and you cannot open it, it will open. However, <laughs> there would be a problem because now this one has uh, the cover for the roof. So this is the protection. If you don't have that uh, put in, you cannot open the roof. So if it's like that, where you can load stuff, you can have it like that and you have all the space available. However, if you want to open the roof, you have to first put that in place and you have to be careful because that one is manual and you have to really lock it in. Uh, this space is always available as I said. This is where the roof usually is. 
So um, you can close it with a button. Here we go. And let me just open it up the roof and then show you how it basically works when the roof is in the trunk. All right, so now let's take a look inside how it looks when the roof is folded. Kick. So now it opens. So here you see, this is the entire roof folded. And when you open it, it automatically goes up. So you can open this, put your stuff inside, and don't forget to close it, otherwise the roof will not close. And then you just press the button, roof goes down, boot closes, voila. Now let's hit the road. Okay, so let's go. Engage and drive and... This is what happens if you push that little button here. That's the traction control. As I said, V8, 435 horsepower, 700 newton meters of torque at 1,800 RPM. You will spin the wheels every time you accelerate fast if you don't need the traction control. You don't need the SL63 or 65 to have fun with this car. This is a beautiful car, drives amazing, very, very good performance, uh, very comfortable even for longer distance. Now let's try the speed bump hate those things it's okay you I have it now in comfort and sport it's a bit stiffer um, there is an optional uh, button that would be here then that actually can lift the car if you uh, drive on an uneven road or something like this just check with Mercedes-Benz when you have it by the way Mercedes-Benz thank you very much Gargash uh, which is the official Mercedes distributor here in Dubai for providing this car and there will be many more reviews coming in the future. So uh, that would be an optional thing that uh, I would recommend to you guys, especially here in Dubai with all the speed bumps. Okay, so let's just turn around and then I'll tell you more about the car. Okay, it drives really, really well. Listen. Perfect, it sounds amazing. It has this very deep V8 uh, ballern. I don't know how you can say it in English. Uh, it's really, really nice. Fuel consumption was, as per Mercedes, is around 10.8 combined. However, here in Dubai, because we have 47 degrees, it's hot as hell, humid as hell. Um, we have a lot of highways, uh, which should actually help the fuel consumption, but uh, usually you have a lot of people that come in front of you, so you have to slow down, accelerate, slow down, accelerate. So I have now 16.4. To be honest, it was around 15.8 before we were standing, because uh, filming, I left the car running. So realistically, you'll be driving something around 14 to 15 liters per 100 kilometers. Uh, I checked it on the highway, very constant speed, so I was able to drive with around 10.5, 10.8. So pretty much what Mercedes says. However, city environment, a lot of acceleration, a lot of braking. Um, in this heat, you will not be able to drive with less fuel. Now, it drives very, very nice. It's very direct. What I like is you can put the... Uh, um, what do you call this, the uh, suspension in either comfort or sport. That doesn't change, however, the gear shifts or um, anything with the, uh, yeah, the gear shifts, sorry. Um, to make the gear shifts, actually you can, as I said, manual, sport or echo. So if you put it in manual, now you have it in sport, if you put it in manual, it gives you an indicator to shift up, which is nice, so it reminds you to save some fuel. Now it shows the fourth gear which is really good and it will not shift up for you so you have to shift yourself however it will shift down obviously if you slow down so let's put it just back to echo um, it dri drives very very comfortable uh, again another speed bump I really hate those we have to be a bit careful with the really really big bumps here in Dubai uh, I encountered a few uh, where you rather go sideways a bit uh, not sideways uh, drifting but uh, in an angle uh, I love the look of the car, I love the interior of the car, especially carbon fiber, which is the optional IMG package. Now, this car costs, and this is the one big advantage I would say, uh, if you're not super rich and you have a car collection, uh, it costs base price around 449,000 dirhams, that's 90,000 euro here in Dubai. Um, this particular one here with a few gimmicks like the Magic Sky Control, I hope I said it correct, a very difficult name. Uh, now look at the roof, it's kind of bluish. If I press that button, it becomes transparent. Very nice feature, let's make it bluish again, or dark, darken it up, because uh, it's very, very hot. It still lets light through, however, it's not as hot as if you would have it transparent. So that's a nice thing. 
uh, of the right quality is superb, uh, really. The only things uh, that uh, I would say I don't like, that is this analog clock here. Uh, I like the fact that there is one, however, uh, not the design of it. It looks misplaced, it doesn't look like it belongs into this car. The minute and uh, hour hand look way too chubby, too fat to fit to the sporty character of the car here. Now, let's just turn around. Um, another thing that I don't, not, not like, but so that I would uh, like to have improved would be the screen a bit bigger and make it a touch screen because I found myself that I was touching it a lot. Um, other than that, it drives really, really amazing. The main feature I really love are the seats in this car because they have so many optional um, functions. Obviously, everything is electric. You're controlled over the uh, on the door here, and they actually uh, pump to left and right in this area to grip you into the corner. So if I go a left corner, this one pumps up and holds me really, really tight, which is really, really great. Uh, it has a massage function in four different settings, which you go here. Uh, you can change the lumbar support. Uh, you can have uh, uh, this support here either really, really uh, big, like a 10, setting 10, or 0, just nothing. So that is really amazing. I like the carbon fiber trim in the AMG uh, package, uh, optional package here. Um, the leather is beautiful. I would like to have this one in leather and this in leather, which I assume will be in the uh, SL63 and 65, or as an option in, in any of the SLs. Um, other than that, it really drives amazing. I mean, cornering is great, the performance, pickup, the sound, it's all beautiful, beautiful. Um, now, coming back to the price, 449 for the base. This one, as you can see it here, it's 549,560, 550, something like that. I'll put it in the description. Um, that's a hell of a lot of money, I mean, Okay, we had a race in property prices in Dubai, but two years back, you could buy a small one-bedroom apartment in Dubai Marina for that price. Well, I mean, it really depends. Uh, let's say like this. I cannot afford this car at the moment. Hopefully in the future, because I love it. Um, someone who can afford this car will not look for a one-bedroom apartment in Dubai Marina. They're most probably gonna have a villa already somewhere, or multiple properties, and that will be uh, one of the cars they will have. So, from that point of view, it's a different clientele, it's a different, different, uh, yeah, buyer clientele. See, traction control is on, and still drifts just a little bit before the traction hits, and, uh, reduces the, uh, the torque to uh, find the grip again. Uh, one thing, actually, brakes were a bit squeaky, I guess, because the car is very, very new, so it's just still braking in, and uh, that will go away uh, after some time. So, I think that's pretty much it, I would say. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, like it, comment below, subscribe, please, and if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Um, thank you very much Gargash, Mercedes-Benz uh, Dubai for providing this car and uh, if the schedule is right we should have uh, next week the um, Mercedes-Benz CLS uh, shooting brake which is something really, really nice looking and very rare in Dubai so if you want something that is very unique and not many people have uh, stay tuned, subscribe and uh, uh, check in again in a week's time to see the new video. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.